Hi guys, and welcome back to part two of our bull story as we get a chance to take a look at the third wheel on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Well, I guess it's no secret, it's mating season here on the ranch. The bulls are getting turned out with the cows, and today we're expecting a very special delivery of a brand new bull here to the ranch, a heifer bull, which is only a two-year-old bull, but uh, he'll get a chance to come in, and, and we're gonna talk a little bit about him and what he does on the ranch and, and what his role is gonna be as well. We have our three bulls that we turned out yesterday, and we're gonna check in and see what they're up to, and it's gonna be a short little video today as we, uh, Get the peanut gallery here behind us. So we're down here in uh, what we call the heifer pasture, which is about uh, pretty close to a thousand acres that's pretty much wide open, as you can see back here, and cows are kind of spread throughout the entire thing. Uh, this is where we begin our breeding season. This is where the bulls were dropped off yesterday, our three bulls, and we have a brand new bull that is arriving today. He is a Magnan bull, which is the last name of the uh, family that raises bulls for us up in Montana. John is the first name, and he'll be delivering that bull to us today, and we're gonna get a chance to take a look at him and, and see what he's up to, and, uh, and actually figure out uh, what his role is going to be here on the ranch. Hey kiddo. How's it going? This time of year can be a little loud out here on the prairie. So I'm going to jump in the pickup where we can actually hear you think. Oh my gosh. Wow. They are loud today. And apparently, they all think I have food. I have nothing. Hey, blonde cow. Hey, kiddo. I don't have anything. I don't have any food. I don't have anything. And I'm trying to make a video, okay? So I'm gonna roll up the window and try to get this done. Just bear with me. I'll come back and see you in a little bit. Anyway, we have that new bull on the way. And uh, when it comes time for us to buy a new bull, uh, there's, there's a number of different things that we look at. And the main thing that we look at is the birth weight of that bull. Now there are things uh, that are called EPDs, which are expected progeny, progeny, progeny uh, differences. And what that means, Got all kinds of action happening outside here. Um, what that means is basically they, we look at uh, the bull's mom and its dad, and we take their uh, values and and uh, and kind of their stats, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, you know, how much they weigh when they were born, how good of a mom um, was his mom? Did she make milk? Did she? All these different factors that go into play, and we can make a whole video about EPDs. But the main one that we look at uh, when we're buying a bull is that birth weight. We want, we don't want a bull that was huge himself when he was born, uh, because the chances of him having huge calves uh, would be would be a lot higher. And I don't want to have to deal with having these giant calves. What I'd rather have is a good 75, 80 pound calf and be able to deal with that. It makes my life a lot easier. So when we called up John about getting a bull, we said we want to make sure that we get a bull with a low birth weight. Now, a lot of times you can go to auctions and buy bulls, um, but uh, we have a good enough relationship with, with these guys that we're able to call them up and say, hey, what do you got? And uh, what do you have available? And what can we get into? So the big thing is that anytime that you buy a bull, uh, at least here, um, you want to, you're going to, you're going to almost be required to buy a virgin bull. Now you can buy a seasoned bull, but you do have to have them tested for STDs uh, and make sure that they're not bringing anything into your herd. So a lot of times we'll buy a virgin bull, which is a two year old bull. And that virgin bull is then turned out onto uh, our heifers because they're roughly the same size, but we don't have any heifers this year. So we have a virgin bull that's two years old. That's a lot smaller than the big boys. And he's out here. He's going to be out here, uh, basically trying to hold his own.
So this is our full grown bull, the black bull. His name is Midnight. Uh, I just call him Troublemaker half the time. He was born in 2016 and he's been here on the ranch uh, since 2017. And uh, definitely a, uh, a giant pain sometimes, but uh, he gets the job done. Alrighty gang, our bull is here. Mr. John Magnan pulled in uh, just a few minutes ago and gave me a call, let me know he was here. So we were able to bust back here and, and uh, we're gonna lead him back down to where the girls are, where we're gonna drop this bull off. I got a chance to take a quick look at him. Looks like a really good, really nice uh, black Angus bull. We had a different bull picked out initially and um, John was able to give me a call yesterday and tell me, hey, the bull that you guys picked out, um, you know, while looking decent, uh, you know, in his stats, uh, was just a butthead. He was he was a, he was not somebody you'd want to work with. And uh, and John said, I've got another bull uh, right here next to him. He said this bull is a lot more docile. His his EPDs and his statistics are, are about the same. So um, John said, Hey, do you want this bull that's a, a little bit nicer and easier to work with? And I said, Heck yeah, man. I, you know, if you're when you're out here by yourself, it's nice to have. Uh, bulls that you know aren't going to try to take you out every chance they get. And it's really nice to have somebody who, who grows and develops your bulls um, that that is uh, you know that has the integrity and the uh, um, the ability to tell you, hey, you know, this bull, you know, I know you're spending thousands of dollars, so we want to make sure that you get exactly what you want. So uh, I do appreciate that from folks like John, and and you do have to search around. I mean. Um, bulls are one of those things you can raise them by yourself. You can do that. Uh, a lot of people do. They'll raise a bull out of their own herd and then and then work it back in. Especially, obviously, if you know who the mom is and who the dad is. I mean, you're going to be able to uh, control genetics that way. But these uh, black Angus bulls that we get from Magnet Ranch are um, they're registered. Uh, our cows aren't registered, but our bulls are. We believe that that gives us a little bit better bloodline. And they're great looking bulls, and I can't wait to introduce you to him. Um, we're gonna come up, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna open it up in the comments down below. So maybe you guys would like to name our brand new bull. I think that'd be a lot of fun. How that usually works is you guys suggest names, and then you come to our live stream on, uh, on Sunday, which happens on the Beyond the Ranch channel, and uh, we can uh, we can choose a name there. It's always a lot of fun, and we always get some really neat uh, neat suggestions. And we kind of just toss it up in the air. Uh, sometimes the kids decide. Sometimes we'll draw from a hat, but it's always a lot of fun. And, and uh, I always like those things. The kids play them all the time, right? So they have the three things where it's uh, you know uh, what month were you born? That's your first, and then it has like an option for your first name. So it, it may be uh, I was born in November, so November might be Sparkle, and then um, you know the first letter of your last name which would be G and that may be you know sparkle glitter you know whatever whatever you know what I'm talking about maybe you don't but <laughs> it's just uh, it's one of those things I see the kids do it all the time so yeah your name ends up being sparkle glitter sunshine Mike you know or whatever that may be how we pick the name for this uh, bowl. I don't know. I'm excited to get a new bowl. Aaron and I bought this bowl for the ranch. So uh, it's something that we were able to contribute to the ranch uh, ourselves. And uh, with the help of you guys here on the channel and, and being able to uh, increase our, 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 our percentages and our, and our likelihood of having uh, more uh, productive herds and, and that kind of thing. So I do thank you for that. We've got a little ways left to drive here. I don't know if you can see him back there, but uh, John is behind us and he is and he's got his stock trailer hooked up and he's pulling uh, the bull along with him. So we're gonna get down here, we're gonna find the girls and introduce them to the, uh, well, the third wheel, really. Well, it'd be the fourth wheel, wouldn't it? Maybe that would even it out. Let's go check it out. We're getting close where we wanna go and uh, <laughs> And I can say that uh, everything looks pretty calm down here. We've got some some uh, some girls down here just waiting anxiously for for their new bow. Actually, they have no idea he's coming. I, I really didn't tell them. Maybe I should have. Come on, doofus! What out? Okay. Come on, kid. Hey. There he comes. There he goes.
Do you look okay? He looks great. Okay. Yeah, he's nice and thick. Now, I already lost our new bull. I know he's out here somewhere. He went, uh, he ran straight out and got himself all mixed up in the herd and now I've already, I've already lost him. He's out here somewhere. We're gonna try to find him and get a closer look at him. Where's the new bull? Where the heck did he go? And he took off like a shot. So this is not uncommon when a new bull gets dropped off uh, that he just uh, takes off. He goes and hides, he mixes in with the herd. The new, uh, the, I guess, you know, he's, he's a new bull, so he's intimidated by the old bulls. I can definitely see that happening. It shouldn't be that hard to find, you would think. Okay, I think we found him. He's over here hanging out with a cow. Maybe he's made a friend, we don't know. He's over here with number 133. And here he is. So obviously he's a little bit smaller. He's only a little bit over a year old. A yearling himself. But you can tell he's a pretty good looking bull. He's got a nice muscle structure to him. He's nice and thick. And even though the cow doesn't seem to like me, they seem to like each other. They're sticking together pretty well. So somebody's gonna ask me, as Mr. 86 here hangs out outside the window, somebody's gonna ask me, uh, what's the point of having such a young bull out here with all these seasoned bulls? Obviously, the older bulls are gonna do 95% of the work. The problem is, as they get older, uh, they tend to slow down. And what this guy's job is, is not so much to go out here and impregnate these cows. That's not really his job. His job is to keep the other bulls doing their job and what it's going to do is he's going to cause basically some dissension in the ranks and uh and cause a little bit of competition and therefore get these guys uh, that are already here doing their job even better at least that's the hope So now we have four bulls. None of them actually have names, except for Midnight, who's our big black bull there. And uh, the other three, do they deserve names? Well, we'll see how they do this year. But this little guy, I'll leave it up to you. Make sure that you comment below. Tell us what you think you should name this, uh, this new bull here on the herd. And uh, we will uh, meet up on Saturday night. Sunday night, sorry, on our live stream channel, Beyond the Ranch, and uh, figure out a new name for this little guy. Also, if you've never been to our live streams, uh, we're gonna have some pretty cool behind the scene footage because yesterday we put the bulls in and in our video, obviously the videos, we only have so much length and so much time to deal with uh, that it looked relatively easy. And really Aaron and I, uh, we went through quite the ordeal to get those bulls uh, even into the, into the trailer. So we're gonna have the extended version of that battle. Uh, we will be showing that uh, or at least Putting, we may not show all of it, but at least we'll put a link uh, to the whole thing in the live stream on Sunday. So we hope that you're able to join us there. And if you are still planning on uh, coming to Ranch Roundup, let me tell you this, VIP tickets are going super fast. Uh, we have roughly uh, sold about 50% 50 of, 50 of the, uh, of the uh, VIP tickets. So they are going super fast. And that VIP ticket includes a trip down here to this very pasture, and, or maybe the next one 
and uh, a little picnic out here in the prairie. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we look forward to, to meeting everybody during Ranch Roundup 2020, which is taking place over Labor Day weekend uh, here on the ranch. So that's pretty much it for us today. And uh, we're going to leave you with uh, a little bit of uh, a few videos of cows here doing cow things this time of year. And uh, hopefully uh, we can see you right here again the next time, next week, actually, Monday on our Wyoming Life. Have a great weekend and a happy 4th of July.